There's been attempts in the past to try to warm Mars using greenhouse gases. They require lots of like materials to be brought from Earth. So there's a, a cost issue with them. And, you know, uh, we were trying to find a solution that was more cost effective, uh, that we can just live off the land per se and use the materials from the Martian surface. And so the, the idea is uh, these nanorod particles that we can manufacture using the Martian soil itself that's rich in iron and aluminum, we can create these little nine micron, very small, um, one millionth the size of a meter. So these are tiny little things that are smaller than your uh, commercially available glitter. We can make all these particles and, and throw them up in the atmosphere through these fountains, particle fountains. Uh, the interaction of those particles uh, with the atmosphere and the incoming sunlight would then cause the, the, the sunlight to be forward scattered preferentially to the surface. And that would cause an, a, a very strong greenhouse effect we found from the size of these particles that are small enough at their, at their sizes and the solar radiation. It turns out that the physics uh, helps that radiation then just preferentially goes out of the surface, which warms it up. And then we can warm it up several tens of degrees, uh, actually much easier than previous methods because of what I just said, uh, we're, we're living off the land. We can build this stuff directly from it. We don't have to import uh, all this stuff from, from the earth, right? So it turns out it'd be cheaper, much cheaper economically to do, this, to do it this way. And it's more effective. Uh, maybe the mean surface temperature won't reach freezing, or maybe it could or close to it, but certainly at the very least, I mean, we want to be conservative. At the very least, it'll be large swaths of the planet that'll be above freezing. And that's important because uh, above freezing point, then you can melt whatever ice, you can have water actually sustained on the surface. You can actually have water flowing. And so uh, this is good for at least uh, habitability as we know it.